common reasons families don't fill out a FAFSA form. Hi everyone, I'm Tina Steele, the FAFSA guru, and if you like what I have to say, be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the link below. Reason number one, families think their income is too high to qualify for any financial aid. I see this all the time, and I cannot tell you what a big mistake it is to not fill out the FAFSA for this reason. Every student that fills out a FAFSA form will qualify for some form of financial aid, even if it's a federal direct student loan, which is a low interest loan not based on credit that students can borrow to help them pay for college. I know that's not ideal and families are really looking for that free scholarship and grant money, but it can help make a difference. Even if you don't think you'll qualify for any financial aid, you can at the very least appeal your financial aid offers when you receive them. 80% of students who file a financial aid appeal will receive additional aid in the form of free money. But if you don't fill out a FAFSA form, you don't get a financial aid offer, which means you cannot appeal your financial aid offer. So I would say it's worth filling out the FAFSA for that reason alone. I've helped hundreds of families through this process and I've seen additional financial aid come back that ranges anywhere from $3,000 to $30,000 in free money. So even if you don't think you'll qualify for financial aid, I highly encourage you to fill out the FAFSA form. Reason number two, families just think the FAFSA is too complicated. It can be a little overwhelming and daunting if you've never filled out a FAFSA before. It takes about an hour to electronically fill it out and you need to have all of your income and asset information prepared beforehand. There is a little information bubble next to each question on the FAFSA that you can expand that will further clarify what exactly they're looking for in that part of the FAFSA. And if it feels overwhelming, do it in chunks. There's a save feature on the FAFSA form that allows you to go in and get started it on it and save it for later. So this is a great way to take the pressure off and help you feel better about completing it. Also, it's important to note that the government is working on simplifying the FAFSA form. For the year 24-25, the FAFSA is going to be a lot easier to complete. The current FAFSA has about 108 questions. The new FAFSA is going to be pared down to 36 questions, which is really significant. So the 23-24 FAFSA is the last FAFSA that's going to feel so tedious and have all the questions that it does. The new FAFSA that gets released in October of 2023 will be simplified and easier to complete. There are so many students and families that are not taking advantage of financial aid and filling out the FAFSA form. Reason number three is that students and families just don't know about it. They don't have a general understanding of the financial aid process and how it works and what exactly the free application for federal student aid is. So if this applies to you, the FAFSA is a form that you have to fill out every single year to apply for financial aid to help you pay for college. There's several different types of financial aid you can qualify for by filling out the FAFSA that includes grants and scholarships, which are free and are based on income. Something known as federal work study, which allows the student to get a job working on campus and they can earn a paycheck for the work that they do. Along with federal direct student loans that are loans students can borrow in their own name that are not based on credit and parent plus loans, which are loans that parents can take out on behalf of their dependent student. But if you don't fill out a FAFSA, you're not going to be considered for any of these sources of financial aid. It's so important to get your FAFSA submitted if you plan on attending college. It's free to complete and it's something that you need to fill out every single year. It opens up October 1st of the year prior to the year that you're applying for financial aid for. So for example, anybody planning on attending college for the fall of 23 and the spring of 24 would need to fill out the FAFSA that was just released this past October. And then next October, 2023, the FAFSA will be released for anybody that plans on attending college for the fall of 24 and the spring of 25. The earlier you fill out your FAFSA form, the better. There are some pools of money that will deplete as time goes on. So don't make that mistake of not filling out your FAFSA form. Unless you have several hundred thousand dollars sitting in a bank account earmarked for your college education, it is 100% worth filling out a FAFSA. And if you find you need assistance with this process, I offer one-on-one -on -one FAFSA consultations and I sell a step-by-step -step digital course on my website that will take you through each question of the FAFSA and ensure that you don't make common mistakes that can cost you thousands of dollars. I offer a free initial 10 minute consult call for anybody that I've never worked with before. If you have general questions about the financial aid process or want to learn more about the programs and services I provide, you can schedule that directly through my website at thefafsaguru.com. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you found this video helpful.